Good evening YouTube and welcome to the channel. No, it's um kind of late at night, but we are working on the car. So my last real hard run that I did with the group, my front brakes, believe it or not, even though I got DOT4 fluid and I have um, Hawk um, HPS Plus or HP Plus, which are the um, autocross pads, even though I have them hooked up front and rear, my fronts were actually squeaking and I wasn't even the lead. I was actually um, the last car, which was probably number four, um, four or four and it just could not stand up to this driving so you know my first step is i'm gonna try to cool the brakes down so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a fog light brake cooling duct conversion i'm gonna cut these fog lights out i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna do it in a little i'll show you how i do it a little bit later but i'm basically gonna hollow out this lens and i'm gonna put um fog uh brake ducts in there so if you come over here let me flip my light around come over here some of the materials i have Let's see, I don't know why. There we go. So some of the materials I have here is I have the actual ducting. So there's two different kinds you can get, or actually maybe there's more than them. There's a black version and there's an orange version. The orange version is rated at 450 degrees. The black version is rated at 300 degrees. The reason I went with the black version is because it's moving cool air towards the brake. It's not moving hot air. So I didn't spend 10 or $15 more to get the orange ones, and I felt the black ones are just as fine, and um, they'll blend in a little bit better. I also have Z06, C6 Z06. These are the actual ducts that come with the C6 Z06. I had it curve around the wheel well and blow uh, try to blow directly on there. Um, and then the last thing I have is these universal ducts. Um, that I'm going to put in behind the fog light after I cut the trims off. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to do the driver's side first. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to go ahead and break the lug nuts loose, jack the car up, take the wheel off, and then get to work. Um, yep, and we'll go step by step. Okay, so we got the wheel off. And as you can see, we got an existing brake duct that comes with all base models. So basically, what's happening here is that there's a Okay, so we got the wheel off. So what you can see here is we already have an existing brake duct that comes with all base model Corvettes. And basically what you have here is there is a little tube that S's uh, down and it drops, it draws in air from underneath the car. Uh, where is it at? Can you see it? Right here, this big hole right there. That's where it's pulling in air um, to cool the brakes but as you can see it's not even it's not even directed towards it so what we're going to do is use this existing hole but we're going to be cutting a path um ducting to the front of the um car where air is definitely flowing in so the first thing i'm going to do as i saw in someone else's instructions online is i'm gonna etch um a little line They'll give me a template to cut of where the fog light is around the bumper. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, got it etched. So the next step is I'm going to go ahead and I know the lighting is getting blocked. But I'm going to go ahead and remove the inner, fin uh, inner uh, fender covers, which is just nothing but these little push pins. And then get access to the fog light, disconnect the fog light, pull it out and start the modification of the fog light. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, got it all disconnected, and as you can see, it easily comes out just like that. Very simple. <clears throat> so go ahead and lay that to the side, and see what we got here. So yeah, this is the old tube here. So we're going to go ahead and just go in. Okay, I didn't think it was going to fall apart like that. But we'll go ahead and remove this, put it back together later. But we just want to take this off it's only held on by like i guess this little pin but yeah let's get to work on disassembly then um we are actually the fog lights right here so first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and just disconnect the wiring harness and then we're gonna work on um there's some nuts in here now you can't see it i'll get a little light 
put just some bolts um, holding it in. It's only a few, then we're gonna get uh, taking the fog light out. All right, so we got it disconnected. Um, it's only these, as you can see, in three circles, just those three um, little bolts, screws, actually screws, just holding it in. Um, I thought originally it was these tabs up here, and so I pulled on, and as you can see, I already broke one. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take it over to the bench, and as you can see, um, you can see the little line right there. I've already kind of, um, I know the lighting's bad, it's nighttime, but you can see the little lighting edge right here. This little mark I've already marked out what needs to be cut so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go to the bench and um, disassemble the light then start cutting and molding but yeah let's go step by step okay so I got it over here on the bench and after looking at the pictures of what the other guy did I thought this housing assembly kind of just separated um, and then I can um, attach it a, a different way but apparently this whole assembly is one piece and what he did is he essentially just cut this and it was a very straight and clean cut he just essentially just cut this and he just made the assembly uh, two pieces and then slid this in in its place and duct taped it and epoxied it so um, I didn't expect to do that and um, you know I'm no shy away from cutting so I'm gonna go and get the circular saw out and just start, I mean a little circle blade out and just start cutting um, around the trim. So I'm um, gonna cut a little bit farther back so I can see what I'm working with. But basically what you're doing here is you just wanna get the inside light out and pull it out. Um, so it kinda ends, kinda goes right here. But yeah, let's go ahead and figure it out, mock it up and, um, and go from there. Okay, so we got the blade out, made a cut. I didn't able to make it I didn't make it all the way over but I can just rip that maybe I'll put a saw out real quick and get it but yeah let's go ahead and try to separate it real quick okay it was so close to just being able to break apart I was able to pull it apart let's get the light over here so you can see this is the part that separates this is almost exactly the way you had it looking in a photo um, this separates on the back side here's the front side with still as mounting brackets that I need um, and what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to trim this um, to fit to fit on there. It's almost like it's good. Just got to trim trim these edges off. Um, the next step will be is to hollow out the glass uh, and then attach the duct. So that's what we're gonna do next is hollow out this glass. Probably using the same saw. Uh, maybe maybe not. Um, probably so. Just got to be safe with it. I wish I had a vice. But anyway. Let's move on and start cutting um, the little glass out, plexiglass, or it's not plexiglass, it's almost like just plastic. All right, yeah, let's go do that. Okay, so we got it, um, as you can see, mocked up. Um, looking at it straight ahead, you really can't see any of the glass. But yeah, that's essentially it. So let me pull it off real quick. So yeah, here it is. Um, next step would be is to trim um, the actual duct <clears throat> and have it fit inside of here probably gonna do it like this so yeah let's go and get that going okay so uh, hopefully the camera focuses okay so we kind of got it in there um, now I just need to make it um, a permanent um, fixture and the other guy used epoxies and black duct tape. I'm probably just going to use um, chrome duct tape because no one's going to see it. Um, and um, also need to drill out the back hole so that I can actually, you know, attach the um, duct work. But yeah, it looks pretty, looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and uh, first drill out the back hole and then um, fix it to it, fix itself, uh, the whole unit together. All right, everyone. So what we got here is last night I let it. Um, I used some flex uh, flex seal that I had. You know the stuff you see on TV. I've used it on something before, and, it, and you know it's kind of just like a normal adhesive, but um, it's holding up over, holding up pretty well. Nothing's nothing's falling out as you can see. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually use this ducting tape, and then that'll be the next step. Then after that, I can go ahead and uh, slide the 
the um, mock-up intakes in and then start running the piping. So let's go ahead and put the duct tape on real quick. Okay, as you can see, we got the uh, ducting tape, um, insulation tape all wrapped up. It's pretty secure on there. So the next thing is, is to actually, uh, I guess just hook them up. Just go ahead and put them here in a bumper. So I'm going to go ahead and grab them. see which one goes where okay as you can see there's one put in and I'm gonna put the bolts in and then we'll get to trying to do the duct work okay so I got the um, ducts fastened here they are actually pretty sturdy um, just be careful when you're putting in these little the little bolt those screws down there they're like self starting screws so they're kind of like meant only be taken out once so they don't go in as tight as you think but it is in there firmly just don't over tighten so the next thing is I already got the bottom part um, put um, put loosely on uh, it's got like these tabs that have to fit through it uh, the next part is I'm gonna put this on but not fully and try to mock up how much of this tube I need to cut off because as you can see it's originally designed to go down here and fit through the bottom but um, it's gonna actually go kind of up in here with just a short short length of tube uh, attaching it so what I'm gonna do is um, mock up how much I think I need to cut off by putting this on here and then uh, start with that and that should be the e that should be relatively easy only part I got to do is I got to go to the hardware store or Walmart and actually find some clamps that will fit over this because mines are too small or extremely too big so I need to go to Walmart and get about oh 10 clamps uh, yeah so yeah that's what I'm gonna do after uh, after I mock it up a little bit Okay, so I fastened up. Originally, I had this much tube, which would have been perfect length. But, of course, you need more length to work with. So, I pretty much doubled it, fastened it up to this. So, next thing is, I'm going to stick it um, through the guard when I put it up and then attach it there with a clamp. Um, and then try to figure out how to attach this, this tab to the frame of the car or somewhere to the car. Um, so, yeah, let's go get going. Okay, so this is where we are. Um, I cut some more off. That's why you can see it exposed. So that just gives me some more tidbits for the um, the other part. Um, no one's gonna see it because of the wheel, but if maybe I'll get some black tape and just cover it up. Um, got everything fastened up um, underneath. And what I did is I found these brackets that I had in the um, drawer, and I just took out this um, this control arm bolt, put the bracket in, and and got a little screw and nut um, behind it or bolt and nut so it's on there pretty pretty sturdy um, I'm actually not concerned about that I mean it's not really wiggling so the last part is and it's very easy just create just take a tube and go from here to basically here and I know you can spend two hundred and fifty dollars and get like a adapter that goes around the hub and it plugs right in but I've seen other people just do um, a hose from here to here and just zip tie it around the control arm. So that's exactly what I'm going to do with uh, zip tie and, and stuff like that because I'm not going to spend $250 just on a piece of sheet metal to go around my hub. But other than that, it is definitely um, flowing straight in through there and coming out around here. So I'll show the finished, um, finished look after I get the hose right here and then I'm going to have to do the other side. Okay, so we got one side done as you can see yeah it's exposed but that's just you know you know how i am 80 20 rule 80 percent functional 20 percent i mean 80 percent of the way done so some might say it's half assed but i say it's 80 percent it's functional but you know it kind of got a little off but anyway enough of that but anyway so you know got it all hooked up all the rivet uh push pins are in the bracket i just need to tighten this down just a little bit more um this is nice and tight um, clamps on there. I could cut off the overhang, but you know, it's just really hard to get to. Um, so also got a little zip tie here just to make sure it's in place. As you can see, it is blowing directly right here on the back of the rotor, which is where it's supposed to be blowing. It's not supposed to be blown on a caliper, um, but it's supposed to keep the rotors cool, which does keeps the brakes, you know, brakes cool because it's applying, but yada, yada, yada. But anyway, 
it's it hooked up the way I want it and it actually looks pretty good and I actually like it so the other thing is I could do all this duct work and the same thing to the other side should go relatively fast because I know what links I need to cut and exactly how to set everything up and I don't have to be figuring anything out so yeah let's go ahead and do that okay so we got both ducts hooked up I know it's bad lighting you see this is the driver's side um Hopefully I got enough lighting to show you over here, but here is the passenger side. As you can see, I have a lot less um, foil or wrapping exposed, but I can figure that out later. Um, blown directly on the rotor, exactly where it's supposed to be, without that $250 fancy thing. Um, so the last thing I gotta do is just put the wheels on there. Um, as you can see, here's the fog lights. So one other thing I'm gonna be buying, I'm gonna buy some grills. Um, mesh grills, not too mesh to restrict flow, but just just a little bit so you don't actually see, you know, the um, the cuts and and everything inside. So it just you know obscures it a little bit. Uh, so I'm gonna go to Amazon and order that. Probably not gonna show it um, in this sec in, in this video, but um, if you haven't been to the channel before, please like, please subscribe. Hope you like my work. I know it's just it's not 100% perfect as far as aesthetics, but I'm pleased with it. But next week, I'm going to be taking off. Well, probably not next week, week after. I'm going to be taking these wheels right back off because I have wheel wood um, brake, front brake calipers coming in. I'm going to be swapping these out just because I need the stopping power. But yeah, like I said before, if you haven't been to the channel before, please like, please subscribe, and thank you for watching.